You know, we all think of hearing aids as something in the ear that if it's not set right, makes a whining noise and it magnifies all the noise in the room and you hear everything real loud. The phone rings and whammo, the phone's ringing too loud for your ears. Or if somebody talks loudly in front of you, that's too loud when you wanted to hear people across the room. And too many people have a perception that a hearing aid is something they don't want. I can remember having Dr. Clifford Johnson on the show. He's an ear, nose, and throat physician. And he had a little hearing aid. You couldn't tell he had one until he turned his head to the side and said, see this? This is my hearing aid. So know that there are hearing aids that are, have solved the problems of the past. If you've got hearing problems, you need to see a good audiologist, one who specializes in hearing and doing audiometrics, where they're doing a hearing test to find out if it's what they call low frequency or high frequency, or if it's damage from previous noise earlier in your life, like shooting a shotgun, you have one ear that you can't hear from, or from going to too many concerts where your ears are ringing when you come out. That means there's been damage to your hearing at that time. And it'll show up on audiometrics. Or it could show if you've got a tumor, if you've got ringing in your ears and hearing loss, and you could even have an eighth nerve tumor. That has to be ruled out. So if you've got hearing problems, it's important to have it evaluated. Know that if a hearing aid is recommended, that they'll be one that you can wear, that you can be proud of, and it may change your life. Uh, somebody in my family had one and said, now I can tell what they're voting on in church. So know if you're not hearing good and you're saying, well, you know, I just don't want to get it looked into. You should get it looked into. There's a lot that you can do.